It's a it's a big day in the city of Austin, especially if you live and work and play near Michaela Place. Yeah. Not too far from the domain over there. They're breaking ground today on the new Major League Soccer Stadium. It's a big deal. It's a big milestone for the city of Austin, working really fast to make all this project, uh, you know, come to a, a reality. Uh-huh. Yeah, this proposed MLS soccer stadium at Michaela Place in North Austin, as you know, was once um, a plant that made some of the most dangerous explosive chemicals known to man. Yeah, the and, and, and there may be chemicals that are uh, now uh, banned and buried much beneath the ground, very deep in the ground is what some people are concerned after the plant was destroyed. In an explosion 34 years ago. Do you remember that, Don, 34 years ago? You know, I do not remember that explosion. Well, the but... city of Austin bought that land on the water utilities nickel back in the late 90s when Mayor, uh, well, Kirk Watson was the mayor. Now he's a senator. Uh, the state's environmental agency, the TCEQ, the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, back then said that land was remediated of any hazardous materials. But now, uh, but in November of 20, uh, 2003, Workers were digging with a backhoe and hit barrels of a chemical called BPO, which exploded on contact into the air. Okay. Five workers were seriously injured. It was a big deal that day here in Austin. And Austin attorney and former Travis County Judge Bill Elshire says every uh, city hired environmental reports, including one just dating back in January of this year, they said that, uh, there is, that, that you would need a high-use hazardous excavation standard. Because uh-huh. it's it's not safe. Now, that means special hazmat suits, blast shields for heavy equipment. And uh, the city is uh, sending people and machinery without all those protocols in place. And, and, and those people that are working on the property right now have no idea about this. Well, we'll see what so happens. Travis County, former Travis County Judge Bill Elshire is trying to sound the alarm on this front. Wow. Uh, it's a big deal. Here he is. The city is acting like an ostrich. They're burying their heads in the, stand, in the sand about the fact that this is a very potentially dangerous site. So I wrote a letter to the Workers' Defense uh, Project, uh, headed by Jose Garza, uh, and provided all of this scientific information and analysis to him on August the 26th. And they've taken no action at all, as far as we can tell. And so the groundbreaking is supposed to be on Monday. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm raising the alarm. Uh, I feel morally compelled to raise this alarm against the negligence that is being uh, exercised here at this location. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Kind of, uh-huh. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised we're finding out about this today, Judge. Oh, by the way, you might blow up while you're doing this job. That's pretty interesting, yeah. isn't it? I it mean, uh, it, what's interesting is the Workers' Defense Project. Yes. That's secretly organized and planned and directed by City Councilman and Mayor of Austin, Texas, Gregorio Casar. I know the name. That's a joke, by the way. Yes. He's not the mayor. He's just a city councilman that used to run the Workers' Defense Project. But it would be interesting to see them try to shut this place down. Mm-hmm. I don't think they will. No. Uh, but there you go. I mean, do those workers on that property today that will be out there digging and shoveling, and they've been actually kind of clearing land for quite a while now, uh, do they know about all this? That's a very good question. It'll be interesting to see if uh, suddenly somebody goes on strike and says, I'm out. I'm not doing this. Well, I mean, if the, if the Workers' Defense Project was true to its, uh, you know, its mission, then they would shut the ground breaking down today. Exactly. Exactly. Do what they're, they're at the here very to do. least. Uh, the mayor should uh, come out and explain some of this. And I'd say, hey, we've done some new testing. Everything's fine. But it appears as of January of this year, uh, there's still a problem out there. If I was on one of those bulldozers or backhoes or whatever, whatever they're using out there today and, and going forward, yeah, I would be a little bit uh, concerned about the Absolutely. fact that I might blow up today or maybe not. Who yeah. knows? Oh, well, let's go. Listen, we got this story on the front page of our websites at 590klbj.com, newsradio590klbj.com. Uh, you can jump in here as well. We got uh, the rush update coming up at 608. The Todd and Don Show.